Hi guys, this is Shane Ang and welcome to this video. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel and if you are watching from Facebook, welcome to my Facebook page. As you can see guys from the title, the topic of this video will be Thrive Safe and Confident in the Rain. First of all, uh, the reason that I created this video is because uh, recently in Singapore, almost every day we are experiencing heavy rain or occasional flooding all around Singapore. Uh, so this has created quite a lot of unsafe scenario and driving situations for all the drivers in Singapore. I believe that uh, some of you may have seen uh, a horrible crash of a BMW on Facebook or YouTube. And of course, uh, this is not the only incident. Uh, so this video is more like for educational purposes. I hope that through this video, we can help uh, more people to drive safer and more confident in the rain. Number one. The first thing that I'd like you to do is to ask yourself this very important question. Are you very confident in your skill set or your subconscious reaction? That in the case something happened, for example, uh, you start to slide the car or you start to lose control, you will be able to react immediately, do the right thing, and then prevent an accident, and of course take back control of the car. Are you confident that you are able to do that? If the answer is yes, uh, then maybe you can turn off this video because you don't need it. But if the answer is no, then I encourage you to watch on. The main reason, uh, or I would say scenario, when people crash out, when they are speeding or driving recklessly, I believe it's because of overconfidence, especially overconfidence in their car. As many road users have not experienced the loss of control or a crash before, so it gives a false sense of security where they can push, push, push faster and faster, the car can take whatever speed. Wow. Yeah, push, push, push until one day, the tire finally give way, the car finally lost control. That is where, one, maybe they panic and then they just oh, do their best and then hope the car can come back or maybe they just blank out and then not enough time to react and then crash. In many cases where you start to lose control of your car, Example, you start to fly forward or your car is not turning or your rear suddenly come out and then you start to slide out. You do not have the time to think that Hey, the time I see this video, huh? Shane Ang do this, nee, 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 ah, must do that. Uh, no, you do not have time to do that. Uh, how your body reacts subconsciously at that split second will determine whether you will crash or you are safe. So this leads back to the first question that I asked. Are you very confident in your skill set and your subconscious reaction that in case you slide, you will be like Tokyo Drift? Very steady on PP. Always in control. If you are not confident in that, then prevention is always better than cure. Do not push recklessly. Do not go over your comfort zone. Yeah, every time you feel like, wow, I want to be like racer, I want to chong. Then ask yourself this question. This will keep reminding you that oh, it's time to slow down, take the chill pill. As a professional race car driver, it is a must that we must push to the limits of the car at all times when we are racing on the racetrack. Due to this, uh, there were countless moments or even maybe hundreds of times uh, where I start to lose control of the car or go beyond the limits of the car. So through all these countless scary experiences that we have on the racetrack has helped us develop a skill set and confidence uh, to react properly and prevent the car from crashing when something happens. But trust me, even with that, we do not want to put ourselves in that situation on the public roads. So stay in your comfort zone. Okay, next. Point number two, smooth. Always be very smooth when driving, especially in the rain. Okay, I'm not sure whether it's it because my car do tiong, people want to wayang and pattern. Every day, especially this month, I see a lot of searching. A lot, a lot pattern, very sucky, change lane very fast. It is very dangerous when you do that. Depending on the heaviness of the rain, you can lose from 30% up to 80% of a grip in your tires comparing to dry conditions. So imagine even a normal sedan car will be 1.3 ton easily of metal. Then you go and swing here, swing there, swing here, swing there, very sucky. This is how you easily lose grip. Next moment you know you are facing the barrier and then you are flipping in the air already. 
Yeah, so please be very smooth when it comes to changing your lanes. And of course, be very smooth when braking and accelerating too. Number three, brake in a straight line. Since this video is for the general road users, so I'm not going to touch too deep into the uh, advanced driving techniques. Um, but this one important advice that I would like to give when you're driving in the rain, be it heavy or light rain, do not slow down or brake hard when you are turning. Okay, always try to slow down. If you can help it, slow down or brake when you are in a straight line, especially in the wet. Uh, let me explain to you why. Okay, um, let's use this car for illustration purpose. So when you are driving in the wet, you're happy, then suddenly you need to slow down or you need to brake. The weight will shift to the front. When it shifts to the front, there will be more grip on the front tire because you're pressing on the front tires. There will be less grip on the rear tires. So if you are traveling straight, no problem. You are perfectly fine because you are traveling straight. But if you are taking a corner and then you suddenly brake hard or suddenly slow down and then you have more front grip, you can easily slide the rear out, especially when you are driving fast. Uh, in the racing world, we call this uh, the lift off oversteer. Uh, YP quite GG, I've been quite Hong Kong. So, in order to prevent this situation, uh, my advice would be keep your throttle consistent or at least keep the car as level as possible when you are taking a bend, taking a corner at high speed in the rain. Or if you die, die, want to sir, sing, tiao, zua, uh, you die, die, want to do that. At least keep your car level. Uh, do not do a brake, then turn in. Uh you will easily throw your car off when you're doing your servicing thing. Okay, the last point, point number four, use your engine brake. Okay, this last point is to prevent wheel lock or understeer or, or chain collision. I know some of you all have to drive fast due to your job. Maybe you're delivering food or the uh, delivery man or, or you're a driver or whatever. Or maybe your side is just going to boo come already, so you need to rush back home. Sometimes you have to drive fast. For those who need to slow down when they are driving fast in the wet. Example, you see the car in front slowing down, you need to slow down also. You do not stomp on the brakes. Because if you stomp on the brakes, you will easily lock the front tire and then it's almost like banana skin, then shoo, you forward Mario Kart. Chain collision. Engage a lower gear, allow the engine to brake do some braking for you and then tap on the brakes gently and then gradually apply more pressure if you need to slow down more. Remember, always do that when you are driving fast in the wet. But of course, try not to drive fast in the wet. Lah. And then, uh, if you s always look far, if you see someone slowing down, please apply the brakes earlier and gently uh, because you need a lot more distance to brake, especially in the wet. Remember that. Okay, guys, let me summarize. Number one point, ask yourself the golden question whenever you feel like going crazy. Number two, always be smooth. Number three, do not brake hard or slow down when you are turning in the corner. Number four, do not stomp on your brakes, especially in the wet. Uh, these four points will enable you to be a much better driver in the wet, at least much safer. But of course, if you still have the adrenaline or the crave to race, uh, you can always visit us at Team Supersonic International. Uh, we will be organizing kart races every single month. So you can come and satisfy your craving in a safe and controlled environment. And if you like this video or the content I created, uh, please subscribe to my channel Shane Ang Racing at YouTube. I'll appreciate it. Yeah, thanks a lot. Good luck and try safe.